Of the innumerable glorious melodies that Jerome Kern has given to the world, Mr. Kern's own favorite is Old Man River, which, like the lyrics of the song itself, seems destined to just keep rolling on forever. Tony Martin sings this old showboat favorite for you, friends of Maxwell House. Darkies all work on the Mississippi. Darkies all work while the white folks play. Calling those boats from the dawn to sunset. Getting no rest till the judgment day. Don't look up and don't look down. You don't just make the white folks frown. Bend your knee and bow your head and pull that rope. Until you're dead Let me go away from the Mississippi Let me go away from the white man boss Show me that stream called the River Jordan That's the old stream that I long to cross you like me to help me make a test? I'd be glad to, Warren. What's the idea? Well, I want to demonstrate to every woman listening in how she can be sure of getting her money's worth when she buys coffee. Well, how are you going to do that? First, smell this unopened can of Maxwell House coffee. Okay. Can't smell a thing. Well, now, smell this package of coffee. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It smells great. Sure it does. But that's flavor you'll never get in the cup. You see, the reason coffee flavor escapes is because the container the coffee is packed in isn't airtight. Scientific tests reveal that coffee, whether ground or in the whole bean, starts to lose flavor the moment it's roasted. In fact, ground coffee packed in ordinary containers where air can get at it loses as much as 45% of its flavor, nearly half, in only nine days. But with Maxwell House, the coffee is taken fresh and fragrant from the roasting ovens and packed in a super vacuum can from which all air is first removed. Then this famous blue super vacuum can is sealed under vacuum to keep the air out. Thus, no air can get in, no flavor can get out. So Maxwell House comes to you not just days fresh, but roaster fresh. Try the new and improved Maxwell House. Not only has the blend now been further enriched, but due to the radiant roast process, which roasts each bean all the way through, you'll get ever so much more of the true flavor of the coffee. You'll find it far richer, smoother, and more delicious than ever before. Ask your grocer for the new and improved Maxwell House in the familiar blue super vacuum can. The one way known to science to keep coffee truly fresh. There's a form of parlor entertainment much in favor during the holidays. Anything to do with quiz or puzzles is a game that everybody plays. If you're really in the mood for riddles, 
Here's a question I would like to raise. What makes the world go round, the breezes blow, the roses grow, the crickets crick and the dogs bow wow, the clocks tick tick and the cats meow. I know, uh, Rick Young, I know. Oh, quiet, no time singing. <clears throat> oh, is that what it is? <laughs> what makes the world go round, the rivers flow, the roosters crow, the whistles blow and the cowbells ring. It may be snowing, but you think it's spring. I know. Young, I know. Why, yes. It's all because you want somebody's favor, and life becomes the horse of a different flavor. Meredith, what makes the world go round? Why, melodies, Bob, and fine harmonies. A stirring march or a minor strain. Some happy song or a love refrain. Mr. Wilson, I know. Quiet, Snook. Frank, what makes the world go round? Why, perhaps a good smoke or a little joke. <laughs> and, of course, a lovely lady, a pretty face, a table for two in some quiet place. Wow! <laughs> How about you, Bob Taylor? Well, I'll take my ranch, a horse to ride, my boots and my hunting gun, a nice big campfire beneath the sky. <laughs> That's my idea of fun. Tony... What makes the world go round? Well, Bob, a song to sing or a tune to swing, a fine arrangement or maybe a good part to play, Maxwell House Coffee and Alice Faye. That makes it, Mr. Martin. I know. Oh, Snooks, will you please be quiet? <laughs> oh, what are you crying for? You won't let me say what I know, and I know what makes the world go round. All right, Snooks. What makes the world go round? Well... Being kind to Christmas time and giving to the poor. But I learned at Sunday school, live by the golden rule. Love your mommy and daddy and be good to all your friends. Be done is goodwill to men. <laughs> you see? I know. Uh, Meredith, excuse me a moment. I, I think we ought to take a hint from Snooks and wish all our friends a Merry Christmas. Well, I'd like to wish them all a Merry Christmas, too. And so would I. You count me in on that. What about you, Rita? Well, I certainly would like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Uh, beg pardon, Bob, but uh, right about here, don't you think it would be a nice thing if everybody wished our friends a Merry Christmas? <laughs> oh. Meredith, where have you been? That's what we've been talking about, but uh, we don't know how to do it. Well, why don't you sing it? No, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> all right, everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Here goes. Merry Christmas, everyone from Ladies and gentlemen, be with us next Thursday and tell your friends about our big New Year's show. Wallace Beery and Robert Taylor and Mervyn Leroy's new MGM thrilling and exciting drama, Stand Up and Fight. We'll also have with us charming Florence Rice, Douglas McPhail, Fanny Bryce, Hanley Stafford, Frank Morgan, Meredith Wilson, and Robert Young. A special guest will be NBC's sports announcer and commentator of news of the day, Bill Stern. Take it, Bob Young. There's one Christmas treat you can give your family. Take them to see MGM's brand new picture, Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. They will never stop thanking you for taking them. And now, speaking for the Metro Golden Mayor Studios and our entire good news staff, may I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Echoing the thoughts of every true American who participated in the celebration of Rededication Day, the very best we can wish for you is that this Christmas and every Christmas find you happier and even more proud that you are an American living in America. Merry Christmas and good night. Now this is Warren Hull saying good night and wishing each and every one a very Merry Christmas for Maxwell House, the coffee that's always good to the last drop. This is a national broadcasting company. KL.